Hi there, Pierre White, where as you heal each other. Today's topic is going to be what happened when this lady accidentally bought a house that already had occupants in it. Oh, do you know where I'm going with this? So I thought it was suited perfectly for Halloween. So here I go. There's different parts to it. So I'm going to try to remember everything. So this was a friend of mine. And her and her husband decided to buy this almost new, to them anyways, house. And when she went there, it, everything was fine when she, she visited. No problem. But then she went there to clean. Yep, you know how we do that. They bought it. And then she decided she was going to go in to clean. <laughs> okay, so she's by herself. And she puts the water on at the kitchen sink. And then, you know, she starts cleaning. And she turns the, the, no, she turns the water on, she takes the water, then she turns it off, and then she starts cleaning. Okay, nothing strange there. But while she's on her knees washing the floor, the faucet starts to go back on. It's like, what? I turned it off. So she goes and she turns it off. Then she comes back and she does what she needed to do and then okay. So she washed the, I think it was the living room floor at first. So she did that. And then she decided, okay, I'm going to change the water. So she went back to the sink. She turned it on. Turned it off. And then decided she was going to go upstairs. Because she had, uh, the, I think it's three or four bedrooms upstairs. So she went upstairs. But she could hear the water downstairs. Came back downstairs and looked at it. And it's like, it's running. The faucet is running. Okay, well, this time she was sort of, okay, what's going on? So she turned it off again. So she went to do her stuff upstairs. You guessed it. <laughs> the faucet went back on. So it's like, okay, so I'll call my husband and I'll let him know that there's something wrong with the plumbing. So she got someone to work on the plumbing. Everything's fixed, no, no problem. Good. <laughs> so then she goes, you know, like, actually they came at the same, I think it was on the same day. So everything was fine. All right, so anyway, she decides she's going home. So she went home. So the next day she comes back, Guess what? The faucet was on. Mm hmm? So she turned it off again. <laughs> and then something happened in the living room. When she went there the first time, that was the day before, she didn't open anything. She was going to open the window of the living room. So when she went to go to the window in the living room, the blinds, okay, there's two windows. The blinds was going uh, this way, sideways. Uh huh. It was going sideways by itself. The window wasn't open. The doors weren't open. <laughs> So, and it was swinging, okay, it was swinging. So anyways, so she thought, okay, I need some help here. There's something going on. So guess what? <laughs> Who does she call? Goes Buster. So I go there and I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going there and... I turned the sink on. That's the first thing that I wanted to see what was going on. So when I'm turning the sink on, not the sink, the faucet, when I turn the faucet on, 
it just happens that uh, it doesn't do anything. It's nothing comes out of it. <laughs> it's like, okay, to extreme, what? All right. So then I go to the window to see if, if it's really moving. And it is. Believe me, it is. It's not just going that way. It's going whoo, whoo, like this. Like someone's pushing it, okay? So it's like, all right. <laughs> For me, it's no big deal. So anyways, so I turn around and I, I'm asking her, why do you have a rocking chair in the middle of the living room? She said, well, it was left here. All right. So I'm looking at the rocking chair and, and here I see this old lady sitting in it. And she said, no, there's no old lady there. I said, there's no lady sitting in your rocking chair. She said, oh, yeah. I said, she's dressed in black. And what happens? She's, she's um, telling me this is her property, the old farm property. And she really likes your house. Okay, now, when I'm talking to this lady, in the kitchen, the faucet turns on. Mm -hmm. The blinds are still going. <laughs> and the rocking chair starts to rock, okay? So, this lady <laughs> is freaking out. I said, stay around me. You're okay. Nothing wrong here. Stay around me. So I turn the faucet off. And I tell whoever's playing with the faucet, please stop. This lady's getting scared. They stop at the moment. Then I'm looking at the rocking chair. And the lady's still there. And she's telling me stories and blah, blah, blah. And as if we're big friends here. Old friends. So anyways, I told... The lady, I said, I'm going to ask who's moving the blinds. So I'm asking who's moving the blinds. And then I get the knowledge that the faucet is also by the same persons. And I say persons. <laughs> so anyways, she says, I was upstairs and I'm finding it really cold at a certain spot. And under here, okay, and I'm saying under here. Well, she said, you're going to find out. Hold on. You come with me upstairs. Well, she had more courage than I thought she did. So anyways, we go upstairs. As we reach the uh, platform, the last step, I guess, the main on the floor, I turn to the left. That would be where the main the master bedroom would be. But before getting there, there's a little cubby hole that you can go on top of the um, garage. So she says, over there, over there, over there. Okay, over there. So <laughs> I'm looking at what over there. So I say, what do you want me to do? She says, you're going to have to go see. I'm going to have to go see. All right. She said, I'm not telling you what's there, but you have to go see. All right, so I'm opening the door. She's giving me a flashlight. And then there's a light switch, so you click on the light switch. And then I'm just with the flashlight looking everywhere. And I hear giggles. Okay, three kids giggling <laughs> in there. And it's like, okay. And I'm asking, why are they there? Well, this was our house before. Because see, these kids aren't there. Well, they're there, but they're not there. They're ghosts. So anyways, so I'm saying, okay, well, now you have to leave because it belongs to someone else. And it's not the old house. Well, they said, mom is downstairs. I said, yes, but now all of you are going to have to leave. So <laughs> anyways, <sighs> I managed to get them on the other side. Perfect, they're gone. Then I go out of that little cubby hole. I go out, turn the light out, and then I'm going to what's called the master bedroom. All right, 
master bedroom, just before entering, okay, just before entering, it's like, whoa, it says, if you were in a deep freeze, <laughs> really, like, oh my god, that was cold, same as the, the top of the, where the kids were on top of the garage, but that was, you know, it would have been for sure a thing that would happen anyways, but the bedroom, master bedroom, so anyways, and it was only in the doorway. Once you stepped in, it wasn't there. When you went back out, when you went to walk in, it was there. So, of course, I have to do what's called house cleansing. So, I was doing my thing, <laughs> and we hear... The water downstairs all right so we hear the water downstairs we're going downstairs and we see the rocking chair rock <laughs> and the blinds going like this and my lady here she's just <clears throat> she's not herself let's just say so I'm asking to, for everyone to now be out of the house because it's inappropriate for them to use this house because it's not their house so Okay, that's fine. So we got the water turned off. We got the rocking chair to stop rocking. We got the blinds. <laughs> I go back upstairs to see if anything was done into the garage, upstairs of the garage. That was okay. I'm checking for the bedroom. That's okay. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do something to the house, like my normal stuff. So. Anyway, some cleansing. So now it's time to leave. Everything was fine. Mm -hmm. It was until <laughs> I stepped, <laughs> I stepped and moved a little pebble. I think that's what you call it, pebble, or a little rock, into the hallway from the kitchen going out. It freaked the lady so bad that she did not move in the house. And I kept on saying, I'm the one that did that. <laughs> there was a, a little piece of, of rock. There was rock. There was pebbles. There, there, it was there. You forgot to push that because she didn't do the kitchen yet. She, she was doing the living room and then upstairs. And she said, no way am I moving in here. No. I said, it's me. They never moved in. They never moved in. That was it for her. So, <laughs> do you have that type of experience? <laughs> I do. Anyways, just for Halloween, I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Sending you energy, love, and a great big hug to you and you. And yes, that's you. Bye. Hope you watch next time.